Research in various parts of India shows that three out of every ten girl is not aware about menstruation at the time of her first periods. While it is generally believed that menstrual unawareness and misconception is a rural phenomena, during my research I found that it is as much an urban phenomena as well. What if we could create something that would help pay, help girls understand about menstruation on their own? Something that would help parents and teachers talk about periods comfortably to young girls. We wanted something that would make the girls curious and drive them to learn about it. So we decided to create a comic book where the cartoon characters would enact these stories and educate girls about menstruation in a fun and engaging way. For about a decade or so, I've been working on a complex problem. Uh, some would say impossible, which is bringing reliable laboratory diagnosis to poor countries. And we realized very quickly that a lot of the labs we're trying to find would be on streets like this without a name, and they would be hard to identify. Or they would be on the back of somebody's house. But we're still left with a question, which was, how could people access the higher quality laboratories? The next question. Is there a way we can move laboratory samples from clinics to labs that doesn't depend on roads? For each mode of transportation you consider, you have to make sure that that mode of transportation doesn't destroy the blood sample. And the answer we came up with was drones. It's hard to believe that something you do every day something we all do that's central to our lives and our culture has such harmful impacts on almost half the world. But smoke inhalation from cooking results in four million deaths every year. That's three times the number of deaths from HIV AIDS. The good news is that creative people around the world are working together to solve this problem. Already there are innovations with stoves that use less firewood, fuel alternatives made from waste materials, liquid and gas fuels that burn more cleanly. We're seeing solar cookers, even stoves that can generate a bit of electricity to turn on a light or charge a phone, but that can also power a fan to reduce the smoke. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.